Hi folks, C5.1 reactivity series. We want to look at all of these elements here, their order of reactivity in relation to each other and their reactions. Okay, Potassium is the most reactive followed by sodium, lithium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, carbon being the first non-metal. Then zinc, iron, lead followed by hydrogen, copper, silver, oxygen, gold, Platinum, platinum being the least reactive. Okay, what do you need to do with that information? You need to be able to write equations for the reactions of these metals with oxygen, water and acids. If we start with potassium here being the most reactive, its reaction with oxygen produces potassium oxide. This reaction is really fast. And we can tell that because of the distance between potassium and oxygen in the reactivity series. The bigger the difference in um, reactivity, the faster that reaction will be. If we then compare that to the reaction of silver with oxygen, it's going to give us a reaction that is incredibly slow. And that's because silver is only just above oxygen. So slow reaction here, very fast reaction there. You'll also need to balance these simple equations as well. Okay, so uh, we need to balance these out. So we've got four potassium, four potassium, two oxygen, two oxygen. And exactly the same here. Okay, so when these metals react with oxygen, they produce the metal oxide. And we know whether it's fast or slow by the distance between the metal and oxygen in the reactivity series. Okay. Let's now look at water. So if we take potassium again and we react it with water, it's going to react to give potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Now, we've done this in the classroom, we've seen, you've seen this as a demo. This reacts really violently, so it's a very fast reaction again. And the potassium burns with a lilac flame. So it's worth remembering, so it's so violent, it produces so much heat energy that the potassium burns as it reacts with the um, water to produce 